Okay, we're processing today. Um, we're set up. We're just waiting for the water to warm up. We got four kill cones going. Somebody will bring up four chickens in there uh, because the chicken, the tractors are out there. We'll bring them up here, put them in these cones. They'll spend about two minutes in this cone. And then they'll come up to here. And this is a scalder. We're, uh, we're gonna scald them. Naomi's got the scalding down to an art. The, the whole thing, uh, your whole processing depends on how well you're scalding. And because of course the plucking depends on how well you scalded. You can really, it's really easy to overcook your birds. You can actually cook your birds. Um, which we've done <laughs> so it, it really is an art you got to dip you can't just put them in there then into the plucker right here um, it'll pluck it take this takes about 15 seconds and then we'll come over here it's a processing table right there I just got my whetstone soaking in water this is a opal bucket put heads and uh, entrails in there this bowl is for livers and hearts we don't save the gizzards uh, maybe we will at some point <clears throat> and then into this barrel which is clean never been had anything else in it and the clean chicken will go in here on ice and they'll sit in here on ice till tomorrow when we uh, uh, shrink bag them um, I'm just using my trusty old timer I've skinned bear moose deer um goat uh we've done chicken processings with it it's it's really just the sharpest knife i have it's it's my hunting knife basically um down here i have a, a bottle of <clears throat> bleach and water because i continuously spray this table off and let it sit like as we wait i'll just keep bleach on this because it'll be wet the whole time <clears throat> and then uh, now I have a hose here for my for my use because I'm the one man in the table and then and Naomi has a hose up here for the plucker <clears throat> and that's it that's a setup we'll do some more video as we pluck we don't really this isn't a how to process chickens we're still learning ourselves so it's a little bumpy sometimes. Okay, see you at the other end. And the nice big, big birds. Big birds, this one's heavy. So these are 13th and 14th ones we're doing. Turn on for me. Yeah. Thank you. these tail feathers coming out yep but that everybody does is a nicely plucked bird mm -hmm. ready for dressing ready for dressing okay and then we go over here so now it's my turn <clears throat> let's see i don't know if the camera will stay up here let's try Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I have the table set up at a slant so that the water runs off instead of on my boots the whole time. This one's got a broken leg. It happens sometimes right in the joint. I'm, I'm not going to do a how-to. This is just... This is straight off of Joe Sal Joel Salatin videos on how to do this. Okay, so here we are, bagging day. We processed yesterday. And the rain pushed us... Let me see, let me get back here. Pushed us into our little harvest hut here. I got... It's all tobacco hanging up there. But okay, we got this idea from uh, Living Living Traditions Homestead with Kevin and Sarah. Thank you guys very much. Hope you guys uh, catch this mention. Um, but this drying rack was, was their idea. And we put the chicken on there. See, they've been in ice all night. Been cooling out got 22 of them in there so we can take four at a time and put them up here and then we'll take the bags right here these are texas poultry shrink bags okay um yeah and they're really good they come you can get custom labels and stuff that come with them and then see now she's like yeah go ahead you're fine Let me put that bag over them. Just let them kind of drip dry a little for a few minutes, a couple minutes. Not long, because we're trying to get this done. There's two people, one person can hold the neck down while she slips the bag over. Yeah, it is. We got bigger bags last time because we had a turkey to, well, we didn't know we had a turkey to do, but we thought we might have a turkey to do, and it ended up we did have a turkey to do, so we needed the big, bigger bags last time, but this time we got the smaller ones. Um, they just get a little tighter. And these chickens, if you if you cool them out in a drum like that on ice, I mean these things are are just right at freezing. I mean they're so cold. They're stiff and they're so cold. The bags come with zip ties. Zip ties and a straw to evacuate the air out of there when it shrinks. So I just put the straw in, give it a twist. Naomi puts the zip tie on. Then we go over here. We should be getting the pliers. Turn that up. This is uh, between 180 and 200 degrees. We dip it in for like five seconds. Make sure you hear the air coming out. Bag's all shrunken. Pull it out. She pulls that zip tie tight. As soon as I pull the straw out. Yeah. And Voila. There you, there you have a very nicely uh, packaged chicken. And we're going to do that 22 times. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Very grateful. Okay. So is there anything else we forgot? Do we forget anything? Nope. Um, these are sitting here. After we take them out of the water, they sit here for a little bit until we're done with all of them, and then we'll dry them and put the labels on and weigh them. Yeah. Other than that. That's it. That's it. And we're just using, uh, <clears throat> we're not official or anything. This is this, our milk scale that we use, and it's zeroed out with the bucket we're using. And uh, we don't do any live weights or anything like that. These are just for us. And these it's for our personal records. Um, if we were selling them, uh, we would have to get a calibrated scale, um, calibrated by who? It's the USDA. Yeah, the USDA. The Washington Department of Agriculture. Yeah, you just this is a calibrated scale. We just it hasn't been calibrated in eight <laughs> it years. It hasn't officially <laughs> calibrated. Yeah. I actually, did figure it was right on actually because when we did the milk test for Jinx, yeah. she brought her calibrated scale and our scales were exactly the same. Yeah, well, and we we know when it's uh it's it's pretty much on because we weigh our milk with it and the weights equal up with what we jar, so yeah. that's always been close enough for us. Yeah. Okay. So 
that's uh, I may stick this on the end of our processing video I don't know uh, it's pretty short so yeah. anyway look at that tobacco again <laughs> we got Prilep we got uh, Shuri and we got Burley 509 and I got a bunch more to hang still yep harvest hut harvest hut see ya